Welcome back to the new Super Mario Brothers level editing tutorials. This is part four, and this is going to cover how to share your levels with your friends and over the internet. Now, uh, two things is you're not allowed to share ROMs uh, through message boards or through email or torrents or anything like that. It's all very illegal. Uh, so how do you get other players to play your games? Well, it's, uh, there's two ways. The first way is that you can use these options right here, import and export level. So I'll open up area one and we'll see that this is the, the area that we worked on in the previous two tutorials. And we'll open area three. And this is what comes with the game. So let's uh, close both of these areas. And I'm going to go to area one and choose export level. And it's going to ask me to save it as a file. It's going to save it as a .nml file. So let's go ahead and save this. And now I can go to area 3 and import the forest island area that I just created. It'll ask me if I want to continue and that it may cause some problems. I've never actually seen it cause any problems, so you don't really have to worry about this. So choose yes. And we open up area 3 now, and there it is. It's the same thing. It's got all of the same stats, the time limit if you change that, the graphics, the tile set that you set, the backgrounds, and whatever sprite sets you, that you've uh, set it to. And uh, and so you can import that over any number of levels. Well, suppose you make a level with three areas where you're you're in the grassland and very similar to the first level of the, of the original game. You go into a pipe and you're in an underground area for one area. Well, that would be area one and three. Uh, you can export both areas individually and then send all of the areas that, you, that you've exported over to somebody on a message board or through email or whatever and uh, they can import that these areas one by one that's kind of a pain especially if you've made an entire world if you've gone and edited every single one of these levels and areas that's that's a huge pain to do so there's another way that you can uh, uh, share your levels it's by going to tools slash options over here there's a bunch of different options uh, many that you won't have to worry about but these two are the ones that we're going to look at right now, the import patch and export patch. Now that will not only save all of the changes that you've made to your areas, but also any changes that you've made to tile sets. Remember I showed you uh, in the first tutorial that you can edit tile sets. So I can, I can go in here and, oh this, this doesn't look like a useful tile, so I'll go and make my own little tile with it. And now we've got this uh, little effect. I can save the tile set, and then when I go to the game, I can scroll all the way down. Uh, we may have to reload the tile set. There we go. And there it is. So this is the little tile that I've I've made just using what's already in the game. The tile set editor is much more advanced than what I just showed you, but uh, what's important to know is that I've made a change to that tile and uh, while I can go in here and export this tile set as a file for somebody else to import what's much easier is if I just go here and choose export patch. That will include the tile set that will include any of these uh, core files that you've edited. Say you've gone in changed some of these particle effects using third party software or uh, you've done uh, uh, any any other kind of changes that you've done to the game, anything that you've done, whether you've imported bitmaps for backgrounds or changed tiles or made new tile sets with uh, changing the graphics or the, uh, the the composition of the tiles, all of that will be included with the patch. So uh, you choose an export patch and it asks you to select a clean ROM. So I'm going to choose this ROM here. I'm going to choose open. And then it's going to ask me where to save the patch. So I'm going to go ahead and just save this as demo patch. And notice that it saves it as a .nmp file instead of a .nml. That stands for a uh, new Mario patch. So I'll go ahead and save it. And I'll say uh, patching will start. It'll take a long time. It doesn't actually take that long of a time. And then uh, halfway through, it'll pop up and say the two ROMs seem to be different versions. Do you want to continue? Say yes. Uh, I've actually made copies of my original ROM. And so the ROMs are identical, so I don't know what this message is coming up. So uh, let's just say yes, and then you'll see it copies and changes all of these files. 
any files that I've edited and changed. Now you'll notice it says finished included 115 files, but up here this hasn't reached 100%. This is a little bit of a bug, so don't let that throw you off. What's important is that down here it says finished. And you just click X to close it out, and uh, you've got a ROM, or you've got a patch that you've made. So I can go and I can open up a uh, a clean ROM. So if I look at World 1.1, 1 1, this is the original level that comes with the game. Same as if I open Area 3, that's the original level that comes with the game. I go here, choose Import Patch, Demo Patch NMP. OK. OK. And so that, there we go. Not only that has changed, but this has changed. And uh, if I go to here, I've got this little tile that I made, remember? So that's how you uh, share files. It's much easier to use the patch, and that's what we prefer. And uh, in addition to not being illegal, it's also a much smaller file size. Whereas the original ROMs are uh, 32 megs, the patches usually come in about 2 megs, and even sometimes smaller than that if you haven't changed a whole lot. So there you go. Make your levels and share them with your friends. And have fun. We'll see you next time.